Hi, and welcome to the Bible Tribe with Seeing Deep Ministries, where we see deep in a shallow world and overcome the battles of the mind with the Word of God. It can be easy to get caught up in the world system so that we forget that we are on mission. God's people have a long history of doing so, but we can find our way again if we fix our purposes on God's, not ours. Reading today from Amos chapters 5 through 9, and the verse of the day is Amos 5 verse 14. Seek good and not evil that you may live, and thus may the Lord God of hosts be with you, just as you have said. In context, the prophet Amos had a tough word to share with God's people. God's people were being ungodly. In this book, Amos shared God's message with the northern kingdom of Israel. And in the poems that Amos shares all of the nations that are coming under God's judgment, he ends with God's people. The judgment on God's people was that they had been rescued by God, but were not extending the same grace and rescue that they had been given. They were to be a blessing to others with all the blessings that they had received from God. Simply put, seek good and not evil. But sometimes this is not so simple because even God's people can become deceived. Seeking good is seeking to be godly, not worldly. Worldliness fills our churches today when we adapt to the culture rather than living as God's holy people in a fallen culture. Christians can fall into the same sin pattern. We claim that God is with us, then we too should live like it. I chose the key word good, which is the Hebrew word tob. It means moral good, excellence, understanding. God is not just seeking moral people, but people who uphold God's righteousness by living it out. Thought of the day. If we have placed our hope in the rock, our walk will match our talk. Application. Those who claim Christ must live like Christ has claimed them. Go with God and his precious word, friends. Tune in tomorrow as we head back into the book of Psalms.